All right, we're gonna do a take two on this one. Hey, bakers, so I'm starting a new recipe because I'm so sick of giving the firefighters all the same stuff. And they have a promotional or a stay wearing in, and so we gotta make new treats. So we are making what I think is gonna be called a caramel pumpkin spice latte cookie. So remember, my batter is gonna look way bigger than your batter because I'm doubling it. Okay, yellow posty again. Boink, because I'm not blue. Anyways, we have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We have a half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of vegetable oil, one cup of pumpkin puree, two eggs, one 5.1 box of vanilla pudding, trust the process, and two tablespoons of instant espresso. Mix it up. All right, bakers, so once you have that nice and mixed, you are gonna add three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and you're gonna mix it up. Now, your batter is going to be a little wet. We want that. Okay, then you're gonna take one bag of Nestle's Pumpkin Spice Flavored Morsel and Morse. If you can't find this, take Biscoff cookies and white chocolate chips, break them up, and dump them in. Not chocolate chocolate. We're gonna do something with chocolate chocolate in the end. But for now, this is what we're looking for. All right, mix it up. This is an arm workout. All right, so with using two spoons, I'm gonna just kind of scoop up some batter and I'm gonna put it on my cookie sheet. Now, I know you might be thinking, Daily, these are kind of small, especially for me. Okay, remember that caramel I told you about? So I got the bag of caramels. I unwrapped them all and i know they sell the little balls of caramel it's not the same you need these big ones okay so what you're going to do is you're just going to go and you're going to press it in the middle of each one of your cookies okay so put it in the middle of each one. all right so i'm taking another small scoop and i'm laying it over the top and i'm going to make sure that all those sides i cannot see that caramel. I want it to be hidden on the inside so that way when you break open that cookie, it's like, bam, caramel in your face. <laughs> Once you have these all covered, pop these in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes or until lightly golden brown. Yes, some cookies might pop a seam and ooze out caramel. That's okay. They're still good. All right, so our Pumpkin spice caramel latte cookies are out of the oven and cooled, and I just have a bag of chocolate. And all we're gonna do is drizzle a little chocolate over them. You don't need a lot. You just want that little hint of it because that flavor is gonna be incredible. All right. And then to show you guys what they're like, I will eat one. I will take one for the team. Hands off. Stop. Stop. Little greedy fingers trying to steal my cookies. Anyways, so you're gonna let your your chocolate cool and harden. I'm impatient, and then watch. This is what you got. Look at that caramel on the inside. Mmm, mmm. It tastes like a pumpkin spice latte with caramel and a little bit of chocolate. That is a good cookie. You guys need to check this recipe out. Let me know what you think.